Hello, peeps. It's Friday. I don't know the date. June something. Oh, 19th. Yeah. Um, 20 to 2. I just had my brunch. I just want to talk a little bit about environmental illness again. Chemical sensitivities. People just don't know. Um, many of you who follow me know that I went yesterday to the hospital to have a procedure, one off my neck and one off my leg. I got in the lobby of the building, ready to put on my gloves. I had a mask on. And the guy at the desk said, don't bother putting them on because you're only going to have to put them in the garbage. And he sounded right snippy. And there's no need for that. He never seen me before. He doesn't know anything about me. Anyway, so I stuffed him back in my purse. He said, you have to come in here and wash your hands and put the stuff on your hands. And I said, uh, I'm environmentally ill. I said, chemical sensitivities, I cannot put that stuff on my hands because I'll just be sick, sick, sick. Well, he hummed and he hawed, asked me all these questions. Do you have a runny nose? Do you have a sore throat? Do you sneeze and you have a fever? Blah, 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 blah. I know they have to be being safe for, against the COVID, yes. But anyway, then he turned around and he said something to the other guy sitting behind him. And he said, all right, he'll take you to the bathroom, he said, and you can wash your hands in there. And I said, well, is the soap fragrance free? Oh, yes, it's fragrance free. It has to be because this is the hospital. Duh. Like, I never had fragrance free soap in a hospital yet. One in Halifax. I'm sorry. So anyway, the other guy, the param the other guy, I don't know who he was, he took me down to the bathroom. He said, there's the bathroom. So I squirted some of that stuff on my hands. That is far from fragrance free. Flowery smelling, I have no idea. But anyway. So then I can't wash the smell off my hands. It goes right into your skin. You can't get it off. So, of course, my brain starts to go mushy. Can't think, concentrate or stumble over words, just like I'm drunk or something. Anyway, I come out of the bathroom and I said to that guy, I said, that's not fragrance free. Not for someone that has the environmental illness. And, oh yeah, uh, when I was leaving to go to the bathroom, that snippy guy, he said, we don't want any more people dying. What? And I looked at him and I just glared because I didn't want to holler across the, the hospital lobby where the sitting room, sitting people sit. So I went, yeah, I went with the guy and I, when I was going to with him, I said, I didn't just make this up for it to cause a, a ruckus here. I said, it's a real thing. And he agreed with me. Oh yeah, yeah. So I come out of the bathroom, sick, already sick. I goes into the, the, the woman came and got me, went into the little operating room thing. She said, uh, how are you doing today? I said, I've been better. And she said, well, what's wrong? And I start blurting out the whole story. She probably was sorry she even asked me. <laughs> right? So, anyway, I said, I wonder if they would let me wash, put my gloves on and wash my hands, my gloves in the soap. She didn't know. So then my family doctor come in. He asked me the same thing. So I blah, 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 blah. I told him the whole thing, story again. And he said, next time, he said, bring your own soap. I said, can I? He said, yes, I had no idea. So anyway, so I left there and I walked all around the building to where my youngest daughter was waiting for me in the van. And you can't get away from your hands, that your hands are there. You can't get away from the smell on them. So anyway, then I told her the whole story, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, so then, like, I started getting a runny nose, I got a sore throat, I got a headache, my eyes are running, my brain is mush. So, when I come home, I went on the site for the hospital, and there's a place where you can write a review. And I am going to tell my experience on there. How else will they know if you don't speak out? Like, it's not going to be anything mean or snippy or anything. Just because he was snippy, I don't have to be snippy. And, but it's like if you have a bad meal at a restaurant, 
or like a hair in your meal or something like that and you push your food aside and and you don't say anything how are they going to know what the problem was anyway so that's my experience i still have the effects of it i couldn't get out of bed today until 12 o'clock and and actually it, it when the chemicals get in, get in your body they store in your fat cells i know i got a lot i got rid of a lot of my fat cells but I still have fat cells and anyway that's my rant about going to the hospital with my environmental illness uh oh yeah when i was before he even said go to the bathroom and wash your hands i said well i'm gonna have to uh cancel my appointment then because i cannot put that stuff on my hands and he said well are you pre-booked i said well my appointment is 1 30. he said no he said did somebody call you and, and ask you questions and have you pre-booked I said, no, nobody called me. Anyway, I, I don't think he has any business being at the front desk if he's going to be like that to people. Anyway, um, like, I'm not exaggerating. That's the way it was. Right? Uh, I didn't even ask if my daughter can come in with me because of that kerfuffle. So anyway, I'm seven minutes and 35 seconds into this rant. So <laughs> I got to stop the video and ease my brain and ease my brain.